Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon's Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the game uh, with our mighty li Thunder Lion, Miles, there beside us. Today, we're going to be taking on the final noble Pokemon, Avalug. Uh, so I'm excited about that. And I have been uh, trying to think how we were going to fight Avalog, though. Avalog is huge, and it is rock ice type. So that makes it um, extremely weak to steel and fighting. So it is a real bummer that Nice died in the last episode because we had that lovely Iron Head attack. Um, yeah, rest in peace, nice, rest in peace. So, I was going through the rest of the team, and I realized we didn't have a single steel or fighting attack. And I was going through the rest of the Pokemon I had in the box, and realized I also barely have anything that has any attacks, steel or fighting attacks. Uh, I want to see my Pokemon, I'll show you look, or what, we're, what we're dealing with here. Um, so, like, all of our somewhat higher level Pokemon, like, I thought, ooh, maybe Storm will have some, but uh, they don't. I thought High Horsepower was a fighting type attack. It is not. It is ground. I thought that's what was being used on us last time to knock out Nice, but I was wrong. Um, we have, like, Rashawn, level 16, though. We've got uh, Solberg, only level 32, probably need to evolve. Um, all of our strong stuff, like, we, if we got Humphreys, or, sorry, Outdoors Guy, all the way up to Empoleon, we'd be in a nice spot. But we need, like, a strong Pokemon who's there now. And then I looked at Sneasel. Level 51 has close combat right there. That is excellent. It honestly almost doesn't even matter that uh, you get the defense drop, because ideally you just hit it for massive damage right up front, and then you retreat and start doing the little uh, run around section of the fight again. So that is where I was at, but I was like, oh no, how do you evolve Sneasel? Is it gonna be something weird and complicated like lasagna? But it's not, you just need a razor claw, and guess what? We just have one. We just have it. Look, we're just so, we, it, it, this was so nice. So Sneasel here, ready to evolve, let's do it. Boom! Now we're gonna have nice, newly evolved level 51 Pokemon that has a fighting type attack on the team to go fight the Avalug. That's fantastic. I'm not sure if we can uh, say Sneasel's gonna stick around the entire time. Who knows? But you know, now we've got it right now. Sneasel evolved into Sneasler. Woo! Excellent! Excellent. Speaking of which, speaking of which, um, we need to talk to this guy because we need to give some nicknames to some people, right? Boom, look at that Sneasler. Boom, close combat, let's see. Let's hit change moves, let's see if we have anything else. Rock Smash, not as strong. Uh, close combat, yeah, so I think we're pretty good. Use your lashes out of the target with Ruinous Claws. Critical hit, Smash lose the target poison. Paralyzed or drowsy, what? 60 and 100 versus 80 and 100. Man, I feel like that's pretty good. Dire Claw, it's like high critical hit with lots of options for n crazy. I feel like that's better than Slash, so we're gonna do that. Um, doesn't matter, for this fight we're looking at close combat. That's the important thing. Dire Claw, um, I suspect Sneasler here is actually also pretty, pretty, okay. Um, high. Attack is super high! As you can see, our defense is pretty good too. Our speed is very high, so this is exactly what we want. This is the kind of glass cannon you, uh, you want on the team in this situation. No offense, Arnold, but, uh, now we have two glass cannons right here. Uh, I think we're just gonna, yeah, we put Barb in the box for the moment, because I don't think Barb's gonna be very helpful against the Avalug. Uh, and this is what the team is looking like right now, but we need a name for some of our other Pokemon here. I went through and checked the Pokemon we were allowed to keep, and I released the rest. Um, I thought, even when I was playing the game, that we were going to have to release our Rufflet, but we crossed into Lake Acuity uh, moments beforehand, and uh, so we get to keep that. We did have to release the, the Chingling, though, so that's gone. Anyway, let's get a name for Sneasler. Viking. Just, just standard Viking. Boom. Done. Ha. There we go. Um, we also have to do some other guys. 
Namely these three, or these two, Rufflet and Bergmite. Let's see, who do we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. Speaking of Ogologs, am I right? Rafi after Joe Rafi in the comments and the Rufflet, let's see, Baco. That's after Lily Baco in the comments. Welcome to the box, Baco. I suppose it's possible. Does this have any like steel type moves? No, I didn't think so. You never know though. Maybe it has some sort of like steel wing or something on it, but no, it doesn't. So anyway, uh, now we have Viking. Let's see. Boom, not only do we have Viking, but we can double Viking. What's up? What's up? Mm-hmm, exactly, you get it. All right, so with all of that in mind, now I suppose we can finally uh, head out to, I guess we have to go over there. 450, yeah. you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? Actually, we're gonna go right back to uh, Sneasel's here. I'm up an Apom, oh, our least favorite Pokemon, am I right? Woohoo! Well, we're just gonna fly. So we don't care. We have to go all the way over there. I think you have to go talk to somebody. And then you can go fight Avalog. Hopefully, I don't think it just starts there. I think you have to fly back almost where we came from. Oh, so much faster once you have fly. It's like, of course they have to, it's like, yeah, we have to give the player fly because certainly they're a bird Pokemon, but once you have fly, almost, the, almost all of the rest of them are pointless, aren't they? Yeah, basically the rest of them are pointless once they have fly. So... Oh! Oh, they're still gonna be sneaky though. We have to land up there. Okay, that's pretty fun. Okay, so not entirely useless. We just have to land on top of that thing. So we're gonna go over here. We're just gonna climb up nice and high. Do, 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 do. Wow, look at Stantler climb this mountain! What is happening? What? Oh my gosh. Went so much higher than I thought. And now we turn. Where are we going? We're blind. Okay, there we go. All right. See, we just needed a little height. I can't believe how high Stantler got up on that thing. All right, the number you're looking for on this is 80, by the way. Ready? Dive! Ah, that wasn't perfect, but... Anyway, here we go. What do we have to do here? Oh, investigate. Is this gonna be the fight? Oh god, I hope not. I don't think so. Your arse phone is ringing. Yeah, put it back on your arse. There you go. You obtained a piece of eternal ice. Ooh. A typical ice beloved by the Lord of the Tundra. Avalog. This ice is said to be fragments of ancient Avalog that live long ago. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, this guy. Hey, dude. At last, the summon is conquered. I see you made it too. Yeah, well, I have a giant bird, so, you know. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal ice, did you? What drives that bird and zeal of yours, I wonder? Can't remember what voice I was giving this guy. I'll assume it was that. You gave Garrick the eternal ice. Why are we giving it to him? I do have the respect of the effort you put in. I may still have my own deaths weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that I can face my Lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Arena! All right, yeah. You say you're gonna do it, but uh, we all know who's gonna end up with this task. Now don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. Whew, you think he's gonna get injured and we're gonna have to do it instead? You're gonna jump off this cliff, dude? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, can we just climb this? You can't climb the eternal ice, is that disrespectful? All right, whatever. I guess, I guess so. Is that where we're going? Over there? Well, all right then. Um, let's go! Is that where we're going? The slumbering lord of the tundra. Yeah, I guess so. Or are we? It seems awfully... It doesn't seem like we're high enough up to be fighting the Avalog from right there. If I have to 
If I'm being honest. Oh, oh no, it's this guy. It's the Volo guy. This guy. Yeah, you look trustworthy. Why, if it isn't Jay, what a pleasure finding a familiar face in this far corner of Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick in order of sword caps, and he was more than willing to have a chat about Avalug. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Not really. I'll tell you anyway. Oh, have some mercy. Can't you see I'm dying to tell you what I've learned? Well, I'll tell you anyway. I, I, you saw, I tried. So, Avalo, guess the fifth of Hisui's nobles? That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't seem that a bit big to take on? Well, whose side do you want, dude? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps. Then give you training your all. Nothing but for building muscle and that. Onward now, to the arena. All right, cool, see ya. Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose I'll let you do it for me, as usual, as usual. I suppose my freezing did just now be off. <laughs> Farewell, weirdo. All right. Definitely not sketchy at all. Not at all. Let's ride our bear. We have a bear. Oh, Alpha Machamp. I don't think we want to deal with that guy. No, I do not think that. Um, yeah, oh, look at all sorts of stuff we can catch around here, though, don't we? Should catch stuff, too, because, you know. That was a terrible throw. Got to get those points for the next round of the Pokedex, I suppose. These things are easy to catch. Whoop! That was easy. Hopefully I got it. We got it! Do I catch two, though? Did one escape? It dare not. Oh, gosh, we're already here! Wow, okay. Boy, I thought we had further to go. I thought we had further to go. Okay, all right, well, you know what they say. No time like the present. Um, let's go ahead and use these things. Oh, wait, we can't use it on you? Maybe... I suppose it's possible Viking has such or has such weaker stats that these like more powered up versions aren't working. If I use the grip pebble on Luisa, what do we got? Yeah, we may as well do that. May as well do that. Luisa? I don't know if we need your special attack up. What about you? You you're already loaded. Uh how about Arnold? Yeah, your special attack definitely needs some boosting. And Grit Rock, let's go to Luisa. Let's get that HP up. Boom. All right, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, okay, do we have... We do have potions, that's good. We have... We want... You. Viking! Now, you've had very little battle experience, which is to say, zero. You evolved earlier today? I have every confidence in you. You can do it. Ha, huh, exactly. No problem at all. Such confidence, such eagerness, such willingness to die for the cause. But we hope you don't die, seriously. That'd be very bad. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, it would be bad. You know, we got a lot of work to do here. We've been clearing out nobles, and you're kind of a last-minute addition here. Okay, I can see you're, you will be no problem at all here. Totally gonna crush it. Very proud of you. Get back in the Pokeball. Oh boy, all right. Oh gosh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So we have to quell Avalok as you wished. In the end, the strength you're feeling went out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Mm-hmm. All right, dude. Come on, muscles. What are we doing, some sit-ups or something? Ah, the bombs, of course. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on the path that lies before you. But know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent if you need unraveled dodging ability. Unraveled, I say! What are you, cold? No, no, we're not cold. We're going for it. Let's do it! If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on the path that lies before you. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. We got it! We're gonna be- We don't even need to worry about it! We're gonna be great! 
Oh boy, you guys think the other Pokemon were big. If you haven't seen this part of the game, I have to tell you, I was pretty shocked when I saw it. Oh, the lug is freaking huge. Freaking, freaking, freaking huge. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Obviously a problem. Way too big. Way too big. Yep. Yep. We're not even wearing long sleeves. Okay. Time to dodge. Close combat. That's our answer, right? Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. What do we do here? Woo! Woo! We're amazing. And we're dodging. We're invulnerable. And we're dodging. You got nothing, dude. <laughs> we're amazing and you're terrible. Oh, boy. Did we hit it with that other one? We did. Oh, no, we got hit. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's bad. Get out of the way, little Jay. Oh, oh, that was a problem. Oh, boy. This looks bad. Okay, I don't like this. Woo! Oh, boy. It's hard to dodge. It's hard to dodge. We're okay. What's the matter? Oh, gosh. Are we fighting? What's happening? Show off a your power. Do it! Okay, you can do it. Oh, boy. Come on, Viking. Hit him with the old close combatington. Oh! Oh, no! It was a crit, but it wasn't enough. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, no. <gasps> Viking! No! Oh, it's bad. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. That was really bad. Okay. Um, wow. I had such high hopes. Um, that sucked. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, 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 um. No one has a priority move. We want. Let's go here. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be rough. This could be bad. This could be bad. Um. Okay, so we're definitely just gonna knock it out right here. We're gonna want to get as close as possible. Now we gotta dodge again. Oh gosh, man, that was a really bad start for us. Really bad start. Really unhappy with how it went. Frankly, I think we're just gonna keep it on uh, Rotera here. At the moment, uh, as our possibly most offensive Pokemon, right? Maybe? Uh. Okay, so that's an easy dodge right there. Then we go over here. Like over here, it's the missiles. It's the next round. This one's the tricky one. We need to be able to see them coming. They're coming fast. Woo! Woo! Oh god! Oh boy! And then we gotta do the ice beam thing. Okay. Okay, okay, Rotera. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, 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 we got it. No problem, no problem, no problem at all, no problem at all. Um, because we're gonna do, maybe we should call mine. Jeez, I don't know. Uh, never misses. Snarl lowers the target's offensive stats. That's pretty solid. Uh, let's go Snarl first. Right, lower their attack. That's what we want, okay. And, and, Mountain Gale. What the heck is that? Oh, Rotera takes it like a boss. That's what that is. Okay, and then we Dark Pulse, right? I think we even go as far as to say, strong style Dark Pulse. Boom! Because, yes! Throw faster, little J. Oh boy. Here's what we're gonna do. Is we're just gonna, because apparently we can just pause mid fight. Do that. Man. 
Gosh, Rotera took that like a freaking champ. It has to be said, we can just repeat that over and over, right? We'll just go Snarl, Dark Pulse, Attack. As long as we just don't get hit by the bombs, we should be okay. It's really almost a bummer that we sent out Viking. But Viking got a critical hit. I mean, Viking did everything Viking could do, you know? That's all there is to it. Yeah, these seem pretty easy to dodge so far. Oh gosh, they're coming in faster. They're coming in faster. Now this is the hard one. These are the real speedy ones, ready? Woo! Apparently I can just dodge a little bit sooner. Now it's gonna come in, do the ice beam, and then we're just gonna, oh, it's coming from the other side this time. Thought it could catch me off guard. Oh, oh boy! Let's go, come on, Rotera. No problem, no problem. Rotera's got this all day. Show off a leg your power indeed. All right, ready? First we snarl. Lower its attack. Then we dark pulse. That's all there is to it, all there is to it. Mountain Gale, that's probably it's gonna do the same as last time. Yeah, it does nothing, which is to say nothing. Then we dark pulse, we're gonna go strong style dark pulse. And then we get ready to huck the, the bombs at it. repeat go here heal right here did a little bit more damage i suppose we have enough potions that's not really a problem we want to make sure we're ready to go on this let's see what's it got for us yeah it's got the snow blower oh oh it's got doubles it's doing doubles i see it's getting real tricky now Woo! uh oh oh we got hit bad news we don't want to get hit it's okay, we're okay, we're okay. Watch out for the missiles. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. That was different, had a different attack that time. Now watch the missiles, okay, okay. Woo! Oh boy, they're so fast. Oh, it's so mad. Now it's got more to do this time. Oh, now it, it thinks it's going to get us just because it did the, the spikes on the ground, but it's got nothing. Because you did a speedy one? You're not, you're not, you got nothing, dude. Rotera, go. Gosh, I was going to say, where are you? I almost lost Rotera. By lost, I mean, we could never. All right, ready? First we snarl. Kabam! Yeah, we got it. Lowered. That's going to hit us with Mountain Gale. We're gonna take it like a champ. Did I get hit? Can you hit me? Then we're gonna go strong style. Yeah. And we wreck it. And then we're ready to throw the bombs. I think we're gonna have to go one more round though. Gosh, okay. That is a bummer. That is a bummer that we have to do this one more time. And we're also just, oh, it's about to shoot us, but um, let's go ahead and heal Rotera real quick. Yep, there we go. All right. It's gonna do this thing. It's definitely gonna send more of the, yeah, those at us this time again. Just gotta make sure we are uh, in a different spot. No problem. We're running the V. We're running the V, ready? Boom. It's gonna come back and do it again. And we dodge, cause we've got it. We've got this all day. Okay, this is the tricky one now. We can do that. Uh huh. Nothing. Nothing. It's got nothing. This is the. Tr this one's the hard one. Basically, as soon as you get up, you have to be dodging. You got nothing, dude. Oh yeah, thanks. He's so clever. Now he's just gonna do that to make spikes on the ground. Which side's the ice beam gonna come on? Yeah, from that side. Not a problem. Yep, and then we're just gonna go get him. Come on out, Rotera. Easy, easy. Show Ava like your power. Yep, ready? So all we gotta do is snarl, just like we've been doing. Over the attack, just like we've been doing. Can we get hit by that? I don't know. Rotera avoided the attack like a boss! What? Strong style Dark Pulse, let's go. Oh, I think we got it. I think we got this no problem. Now we're ready to go. 
Where are the bombs? Where are the bombs? And we got it! Boom! Just like that! That is so boom! <laughs> Easy. Giant Pokemon down! Giant Pokemon down! <gasps> oh my. We did it. We are victorious. Man. Oh, poor Viking. We hardly knew he. We hardly knew he. I feel really bad about that. It was so close to knocking it out too. It was like, yeah, but I mean, it was, that was a crit. That's the thing. So it's like, I don't think we could have continuously crit it. So even if it had knocked it out right there, I bet we still would have lost it later on. I was being a little fast and loose there, no doubt. Um, I really thought, I honestly thought we would just knock it out no problem each time. Bussing on my novel, a quilt, and by such a slight child, slight, excuse me, sir, child that fell from the very sky. Is this J girl, some kind of monster in disguise? What? This guy is dropping all sorts of accusations. She's no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our friends and suffering nobles. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Irida. Garrett cares for the program with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinner just as deeply. So he's feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? Oh, I know your fears will change once you see what I see. She has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife. So long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well. And to see my whole world grow broader. Now it seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Jay. I knew. I'm oh, sorry. Wrong person. Oh, boy. The whole crew's here. Adam in and Luda Lovegood and... Other guy. You quilled every last friendly noble. So is that space-time riff going to start closing up now? What? No, that's not his voice. I'm sorry. He's like more of a cool voice. There's a little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller. Somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. With any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright, as long as we've got Jay. Indeed, we should be. It's okay to have her on our side. That's right, I'm amazing! You got it, little Jay? Sorry, Viking. We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Now look who's finally seen reason. Aw, oh, look. We've brought the people together! We're amazing! Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit. See if I finally crack a smile for us. All right! Hooray, we did it! All right, see you guys. I got stuff to do. Like, go back to camp. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to camp now. Let's see how, uh, what Crazy Hat says about our journey. Yes! All right, cool. Yep. Yep, okay. Good, good, good. 13,000 Pokebucks. Always nice to have. Oh, seems you've made some new observations then. Let's have a look. Oh, I see a most illuminating. Wow, I'll update the Pokedex. There's no data. <laughs> There's no way we're going to get it to next. Oh, wait, maybe there is. Oh. I was mistaken. No, no, no. We have much. We, we have far to go. All right. Hmm. You managed to call Lord Avalog. Fantastic stuff, as always. Well, I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report. To the village! To the village indeed, sir. To the village indeed. <laughs> All right. Let's go talk to talk to the guy about the thing with the, with the people and stuff. And, you know. Run, little Jay. Make it run all the way up there. Seems like they could just, uh, you know, teleport you up there or something. That sure would be swell. Let me run all the way. Come on, come on. Run, 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 Lo J. Basically saved the world already. Look, it's the sumo wrestler, dude. Each of the Pokemon nobles became friends, and now each of them is being quail. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad it's put to an end. 
And to think peace would be restored to Sui by the hand of a mysterious Riftborn helper. Well, when tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Cue something crazy! Go nourish yourself at the wall for an hour. Allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey course work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Yay! Now we get to go eat some potato mochi or something. Laventon. Hmm. Well, is there anything else you'd recommend? By all means, bring it out. <coughs> Now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over Sui. Yeah, I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling. Oh, sorry, wrong person. Yeah, I hate to think we had a kind of havoc. What kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have Richter Jane never came to us? Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, does that mean JB stuck here? Whoa! Oh, not sure. Ooh. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced in investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, Jay. <laughs> don't worry about wherever you came from. It's not important. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us. It'll be another hard day at work for the survey, of course. Yeah, you don't think I'd get like a day off or something? I did just save the world as far as you're concerned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, anyway, here we go. And up to the rift, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. Bakoom! <clears throat> my, my. Whatever could be happening? Disaster looming. And I'm not even wearing shoes! Am I gonna have to go, if I walk out of here and they make me go back up there, if I get stuck in another cutscene, I'm telling you guys, it's non-stop at this game. Non-stop, oh, indeed. Hey, look at the sky, it looks totally normal. Simulation confirmed, eh boys? This doesn't look good, Jay. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we made it worse. Whoops, oh well, <laughs> see you guys. Anyway, time to go. Does anyone use sleeves in this place? Mm hmm. Oh, I think he's mad at us. Yeah, that's his problem. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ah, come on! Hello, Silene. I have word from the commander. You have to report to his officer. I was just there! If you make me go back up there. Oh my gosh. What's this about, Commander? You did cause here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? Well, that can wait. This is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck that net. Jay fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Am I gonna have to fight you? Who or what are you really, Jay? Nothing. Indeed, you've done all I ordered, but that does not answer the question of who you really are! You came from the rift, as did the lightning? You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? It's a good plan. And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you really hear after? I don't... Uh, 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 hold on, Commander. There's nothing to say Jay is wronging us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she's got the sort of fearsome power it take to make all this happen? Well, let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? Oh! Oh! Guilty until proven innocent, is it? Well, well, well. Thought we knew ye. This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? What do you mean? I've done everything you said, dude. But that, that's no one could do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is it not supposed to have the absence of all doubt? Exactly. Exactly, Irida. 
Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Jay supposed to do then? Let me think about it. She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. Wow. Wow, Silene. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is how it goes. No one's grateful. Ever. Ah! Look at Ray's face. <laughs> You're to be expelled from the village. Seriously? Orders are orders. Yeah, and I've done everything you order me to do. All right, let's go. Um... Well, this way, this way. Scary. Ooh, can I get a haircut first? This way. No, I want. I'm, I got things to do. Thank you, Arezu. Not helpful. Oh, all right. Just like this. The walk of shame. Everyone's out here to watch. Boy. Yeah. Why don't you keep up? Why don't you keep up, Silene? I'm getting your way. I'm getting your way. <laughs> you can't stop it. Oh, wait, now you're getting ahead of me. Go, go, Lil' J. Get ahead of her again. Turbo! Okay, and we're gone. Okay. We can take it from here, ma'am. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get it. You don't like me. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept. This stranger is a member of Survey Corps. It's only right that I should personally escort her from the village into the field dance camp. Oh, maybe she's on our side after all. <laughs> As I will, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the field dance camp. Safe travels. Bye. See you later. Okay. I wanted to buy new clothes, and now I'm being thrown from the village. <sighs> Some people. You know? You know? You fight a giant walking iceberg... They throw you out of town. When they asked you to do it. Whatever. They think they can keep me out? They can keep me out? I have a big bird. I fly over them. You call it, yeah. I'm quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that heart that gives you the power to turn to red. Exactly. What I'm saying, man. Oh my gosh. So many cutscenes. <sighs> Perhaps Adam and our airmen might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Lee in a Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where it might be. If you went to the Diamond Clan. Don't die out there. That's an order. I don't, I don't need to take orders from you anymore, all right? I'm gone. Okay. All right, so now we're just gonna find the, the Cleaver tree again, whatever. It's cool, it's fine. We got it. Everything's great. Okay! At long last, I think we can uh, go talk to this guy. Actually, I'll stay up. I want to see my Pokemon. Alright, so I think first of all, we need to release this guy. Release this guy. And, oh, probably release this one, because I see another one over there. <laughs> yep. All right, there we go. Hopefully it wasn't supposed to be this one. Doesn't really matter. The real bummer is that Viking... Oh my gosh, I was so exciting. I was so excited that you were going to be on the team. You were level 50, you could immediately evolve, you had exactly the moves we needed. In the one attack you fought with us, you hit a critical hit! Ugh, you had such potential. And I let you down almost immediately. You seemed eager to fight. And although we barely knew you, I shall miss you. Farewell. Ugh, that one hurts. That one hurts. Come on, Barb. All right. All right. 
Okay, guys. Well, I think that's where we're gonna call it for today's episode. Next time we're gonna go find the Diamond or Pearl Clan or whatever. Um, hopefully we can make our way closer and closer towards that final fight. Um, who do you think we should take on? Palkia or Dialga? I feel like it should be Dialga, given the way it plagued our journey in the last playthrough. But both of them were quite terrible, so it's hard to say. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching, as always, and for liking and commenting and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Otherwise, until next time, bye! And before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon. I used to be able to read out every single person's name, but you guys have been so awesome and so many people have joined that I, I don't think I have the time to read out every single name anymore. But big, big thank you to every single person who's supporting us over there. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, or if you'd like to take part in our other show on this channel, Box Breakers, where we open Pokemon cards and then send them to you guys, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again, everyone. Dead spork.